Hi, welcome to Nursing School Explained. In this video about ventricular dysrhythmias, specifically about ventricular fibrillation. If you haven't already done so, I highly recommend watching the other videos in my EKG interpretation playlist that go into the basic electrophysiology as well as how to read EKG paper and the normal intervals so that you can determine what's abnormal about ventricular fibrillation. So ventricular fibrillation is also called V-fib and it's a very chaotic rhythm that originates from the ventricles. There is no organized depolarization, hence we're not going to see a normal QRS complex that usually represents the depolarization of the ventricles. And just like in atrial fibrillation, the myocardium quivers, but this time it's the ventricles that quiver. There is no effective contraction and there is no pulse because the ventricles quiver, there is no um, actual production of the cardiac output, no squeezing of that blood out into the body, hence the patient has no pulse. It is irregularly irregular and there are very chaotic deflections and we cannot distinguish any normal looking waveforms. Just looking at this rhythm strip, you can see it's very chaotic. It's, um, there's no rhyme or reason to this. We can't say if it's regular or irregular. We can't even count the rate. So if we look at this from the normal rule standpoint, the rate, we can't determine it because we don't know what our QRS complex is here and what are just these kind of chaotic waveforms. Then regarding the rhythm or regularity, you can see how this is very rapid and chaotic and there's no pattern or regularity that we can see. P waves are certainly non-discernible. We don't have a very formed P wave here that we could see that would represent atrial depolarization. And because of this in our intervals, we're also not gonna have any PRI we can look at. And even the QRS is non-discernible. Although we have these kind of wide and bizarre looking things that we might think might look like a ventricular tachycardia that's kind of like in, in couples or in pairs or in triplets here, but we have to look at the entire six second rhythm strip and if I look at the entire thing, I can't really um, determine what is going on. It's just very chaotic. Causes of ventricular fibrillation are usually electrolyte imbalances or antiarrhythmics can cause ventricular fibrillation as well as electrocution is very common um, to cause ventricular fibrillation as well as left ventricular hypertrophy or an enlarged left ventricle, as well as myocardial infarction that knocks out the conduction system of the ventricles and makes the, the ventricles just quiver and fibrillate and unable to produce a cardiac output. Signs and symptoms, if there is no cardiac output and no pulse, the patient will certainly be unresponsive, apneic and pulseless. Ventricular fibrillation is a lethal rhythm. Therefore, interventions, since the patient is pulseless and apneic, include CPR as soon as possible until a defibrillator is available. As soon as the defibrillator becomes available, we need to try and shock the patient out of this unstable rhythm by defibr defibrillating them as soon as we can. If the patient remains unstable or even if they come out of this rhythm, they will require endotracheal in intubation until they can be stabilized. Certainly we'll need IV access because we're going to follow ACLS protocol and administer medications that will help stabilize the cardiac membrane. Here are some credits and references on how you can practice some more EKG rhythm strips, which I highly recommend for you to become proficient in EKG analysis. And here is a list of my other EKG interpretation playlists and videos, specifically here, ventricular dysrhythmias. Also look into PVCs, ventricular tachycardia, pulseless electrical activity, and asystole. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained.